stay there, she goes. When word ho. I'll tell you a tale of the bottom is blue. And it's hate to stop it before. Great sail of beware, cause a big gun come through. In mysterious fathoms below. Fathoms below. To this king and his merpeople sing in mysterious fathoms below. Ah, uh, isn't this perfection, Grimsby? Out on the open sea, surrounded by nothing but water and imagination. Oh, yes, it's simply delightful. The salts on your skin, and the wind in your hair, and the waves as they ebb and they flow. We're miles from the shore, and guess what? I don't care. As for me, I'm about to heave hell. I'll sing you a song of the king of the sea and his hate to the stubborn evil. The ruler of all of the oceans is he in mysterious fathoms below. King of the sea, why that's not good nonsense. Nothing but a superstition. The king of the ocean gets angry. And when he gets angry, beware. I'm telling you, lad, when King Triton is mad, how the waves will buck, rock to and fro. Hold on, good luck, as down you go. What is that? Do you hear something? My lord, please, I'm no seafaring. You've got to get back to court to all that your father's dying wish and take up his crown. I suppose I don't want his crown. You forsake his kingdom, all his treasures. <laughs> treasures? You mean, like this? Who needs it? We drink straight out of the bottle, don't we, boys? Yeah! Or, or this? Not when we got the sun and the moon to light our way. Or, this? No thanks. I'd rather eat my bare hands. You're a prince, Zaya, not a common sailor. These men are anything but common. They're free, Grimsby. Truly free. They don't have to answer to anyone but the sea. I'd rather be a sailor than a prince any day. This is where I belong. Everything seems more real. Strange how at home I feel here in the tide. Swift flow. And when the pool is strong, I almost think I hear the sea, wild and free, calling from the Once again, we ought to head back to shore, Your Majesty. Indeed we should. Not while I'm captain. Now follow that voice to the ends of the earth if you have to. Aye aye, Captain! There's mermaids out there in the bottomless blue And it's hate to the stubborn evil Watch out for a lad or you'll go to your room in this sea And be below to the surface before? Yeah, sure. Me and the other fish in my school, we all appear all the time. <laughs> Is that so? Sure. We're not scared of sharks, or boats, or fishermen. What's a chum bucket? Are those for real? <laughs> oh, Flounder, you are afraid, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm here now, aren't I? With you. Flounder, are you blushing? Uh, it's sunburn. You get it up here? <laughs> Are you flirting with me? Gross! <laughs> no way! But if I was... <laughs> hey, 
Guess what I found today? It was floating in the wreck of a giant ship. Treasure? I'll say, look. Have you seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow, cool. But, uh, what is it? I don't know. Air speed, check. Altitude, check. Landing gear, check. Clear the runway, ah! Oh, hi, Ariel. <laughs> but I know just who to ask. Hey, Scuttles, look what we found. More human pair panaculae. Mm -hmm. You asked the right bird. I happen to be an expert on that very speciality. Can you tell us what it's for? Oh, this is rare. Redonkulously rare. And cysteine condition. What is it? It's a dingle hopper. A dingle hopper? Commonly used in saloons, yes, of the beauty variety. Humans, they like to wear their heads and tails. Pony, pig, a duck, it's all the same to them. A primp here, a perm there, and voila, a pump adorable. Oh, thanks to the dingle hopper. I'll give you two sand dollars for it. A scuttle, no. I'm telling you, kid, on the open seas, you won't get more than a few clams. But I'm prepared to offer. I'm not selling it. I'm saving it for my collection. How's about a swap? I got something stupendous, museum quality, really. A bandit? Bulbous snarf black, second cousin to the tuba. It makes music? Sure think it. I ain't just blowing smoke. Why, it makes music so fantabulous, so absolutely mavica. Music? Oh my gosh, my father's gonna kill me. The concert was today? Yes, and I completely forgot. Thank you, Scuttle. Change your mind and want to sell. Call me best, yeah? Benevolent merfolk, creatures of the deep, today marks a special anniversary. For many years ago, on this fateful day, I inherited my father's kingdom and banished the sea witch Ursula forever. Hail King Triton! And so, it's time to celebrate our victory. In honor of the occasion, may I introduce our master of ceremonies. Presenting the court composer, Horatio, Thelonius, Ignatius, Crustaceous, Sebastian. Morning, Tuya. So tell us, what have you in store? I got a special song for the occasion, and it's going to be performed by none other than your seven lovely daughters. I wrote this little number for my star pupil. And who might that be? Your youngest, Ariel. Such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why have I heard such magnificent sound since, well? Since Her Royal Highness, may she rest in peace. You're gonna be a proud papa. You'll see. If only she show up to rehearsal once in a while. Let the merriment begin. The daughters of Triton, great father who loves us and named us well. Aquata, Adrina, Arista, Athena, Adela, Alana, and Ariel. In concert, we hope to enlighten the hearts of the merfolk with music swell. Child! Ariel! 
Riau! Where in the name of Poseidon has that sister of yours gone? Apologies, Saya, but that girl, she's gonna be the death on me swimming when she should be singing. If I'd had that solo, this would have never happened. That girl is angling for trouble. I say, give her the hook. Fish puns aren't we better than that? Honestly, Daddy, you let Ariel get away with everything. Now, now, I love all my daughters equally. That answer is as canned as tuna and twice as oily. Arista's prettier than Ariel, Andrina's smarter, Alana's sweeter, Atina's older, and Adela... Let's face it, Daddy, you're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get. Hey, what you've got that Ariel doesn't? Naked ambition and the willingness to kill. All right, that's enough! One son, Sebastian, was that just too much to ask for? Please, Saya, don't go with your puppies trying to touch me. Sorry, Sebastian. You might go whipping up a hurricane by mistake. Well, look what the catfish dragged in. Daddy, can you forgive me, please? I'm so sorry. Ariel, young lady. I just forgot, that's all. As a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior! The entire celebration was ruined, completely destroyed. This was supposed to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian. And thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of the whole kingdom. We, we gave, gave up the date with, with the whale, whale of a guy. guy. I don't sing back up for nobody. Mama loved me best, but she's gone. Do you mind? <laughs> Ariel, please, you've been given such a gift. I know, my mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent. One that demands stewardship and care, so please, Ariel, for the sake of her memory. Don't worry, Daddy. I promise. It wasn't even Ariel's fault that know-it-all seagull started Siegel? going on and... Seagull? Oh. You went to the surface again, didn't you? Yes, but nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians, one of those humans. They're not barbarians. They're dangerous, traps and harpoons. Like it or not, Ariel, you're my youngest, my baby. So I worry about you the most. But I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you obey my rules. If you just listen to me for That is once. the last time you're going to the surface again, understood? You're so unfair! Ah, heaven help me. She's willful, headstrong, stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers. Give them an inch and they swim all over you. I can govern a kingdom, Sebastian, but I can't control my own daughter. She'll learn to fear me, and I don't want that. She needs her mother, Sebastian, and so do I. If only she were here, she'd know just what to say. She firmly and yet gently helped the girl to find her way. She know what to forbid and what we must allow. She have the strength and patience that I lack somehow. Oh, what I would give. Have her back. Right. No, no, Saya. It's difficult, sure. But you got to toughen up, not melt down. For Ariel's sake, I'm telling you, that child needs constant supervision. Someone to watch over and keep her out of trouble. That's not a bad idea. Someone to safeguard her every move, her every dark battle, her every side, her show. every dive. And you're just the crowd to do so. What? You heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. Mine? But your majesty! Ariel's a clever mermaid! I'm just a crustacean! You ought to pick somebody high on the evolutionary scale! Sing 
got greedy, that's all. The day he stole my half of the kingdom. To think your very own flesh and blood. And he <laughs> double cross. His own sister. Yes, he went to Amazon. A life of shame and unceasing thought. In the shadowy depths of a serpent. All right, all right. Don't blow your fuses, boys. It should have been mine. All mine. When Daddy D was floating on his deathbed, he divvied up the kingdom into two. I caught his magic shell and half the sea as well. His shrine it went to. You know who? White was blissfully delicious, and glamour, glitz, and style were all corrupted. I use some black magic. Well, oopsie, my bad. Did I mutilate, maim, and destroy just a tad? And for that, I get banished. But me, I'm not mad. There's just uh, one little thing that I want Just this one eensy teensy thing that I want I want the good times back I want those grand old days I want the twisted nights, the signal lights Wild forays, I want those trembling crowds, shellfish cracked and peeled for me to die. Not because I mean all selfish, I only want what's mine. I want disgusting wealth, I want exquisite sin, want the entire sea to worship me out. Remember those good times I want them back Picture with my little somethings Soon we'll be back on top Sipping bubbly Eating caviar before they hatch King Triton is the only one that stands in our way If only I could find his Achilles heel Soft, quivering underbelly beneath all that armor <laughs> I'll dethrone him, debone him And boys, oh boys, we're back in business together now. <laughs>
doesn't understand me. He doesn't even try. I've never felt at home here. Home's with your family, isn't it? What if home's not the place where you were born? What if it's a place you have to discover for yourself? I'd miss you if you were gone. You would? Not in a dopey way. Not in a crazy, hopeless, I'm so in love, but she doesn't even know I'm alive kind of way. Not like that at all. Uh, I gotta go. Flounder, you're very sweet. Daddy's never even met a human, but he thinks the worst of them. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at the stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at the stroll, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, do you think? Sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. And I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling around on the what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be a part of. Understand, I bet they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. stand. Ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it? this? Sebastian! What is all this? Um, just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. If your father knew about this place, he'd... Oh, you're not gonna tell him, are you? Please, he'd never understand. Listen, Ariel, for my sake and as well as your own, it's time you've kept your mind to your music. From now on, you'll have voice lessons every day. A ship? And perhaps you can pick up an instrument. Something ladylike, a heart, maybe. 
was sure a nice heart made out of dirt driftwood and decorated with mother of pearl. Ariel? Hello? Somebody's got to pin that girl's fins to the floor! I swore an oath to your father on his deathbed that I turn you from the red rouseabout into a proper boy, so you're worthy to fill his shoes. Ah, oh, now you're making me queasy. And that's not all. I promise I'll have you married before your next birthday. Married? Our kingdom needs a queen. <laughs> Did you ever try to take a princess sailing? It's a joke. Their crinolines get caught in the rigging, and most of them they can't even swim. Swim, sire. Is that a prerequisite? Well, sure, if we go sailing. Ah, where am I gonna find her, Grimsby? A girl who's as carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? Well, what do you know? Scuttles, they'll hear you. I got you, I got you. We're being interpretations. It's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there. A girl who's a match for a guy like me. Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither. Hey, I thought you were an expert at this stuff. On this stuff, sure. But he gets the sight of a horrible, that square jaw, those broad shoulders, and two eyes, the same color, no variety. I don't know. I think he's quite handsome. You do? Trust me, Grisby. When I come across a girl of my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Hurricane of coming! Keep Drain must be angry indeed! Bad matches! And then everyone below deck it quickly! Eric, take the wheel! Wow! Sam and here from the highway! Scuttle, look out! Hurry up! Secure the wagon! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry, Grisby. I'll get you home safely. Eric. On your way, kid, before the boat! Get away, you filthy bird! Shoo! Shoo! Ah! Prince Eric. <laughs> oh, Eric, it is a door making my pulse race, don't you? A girl rescued me. She pulled me right out of the surf. And she was singing. 
There, there now. You talk a terrible tumble, dear boy. Ah, that voice, I can't get it out of my head. It's the sound of the sea, that's all. No, I'll prove it to you. I'll find her, and I'll thank her for saving my life. You best come with me. A night to sleep, and you'll be good as new. Please, you have to believe me. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. No, she was real. Yes, of course she was. As real as a siren, as real as the mermaid on the rocks. I don't know when, and I don't know how, but I know something's starting right now. Watch and you'll see.
Ariel? Oh, Ariel. That sister of yours is as slippery as an eel. Where has she swum off to now? I got to find him before her daddy goes looking. Good luck. She's in La La Land. That girl has fallen head over heels in love. In love? Aria? Come on, Flounder. Who is the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. I didn't even know it was love until the second chorus. <laughs> but you follow her everywhere. You know everything about her. Not anymore. Not until she started chasing after humans. Humans? I hope and pray you didn't just say humans. Uh-oh. And don't tell me. Then don't ask me. He's one of them. A real human? The two-legged kind? Daddy's going to be ripped. Oh. Dating outside her species? Thanks, Flounder. You are a regular angelfish. Oh. <laughs> Water all around your child, and you still got to play with fire. like the shimmer of the wind upon the water somewhere there's a girl who's like the glimmer of the sunlight on the sea somewhere there's a girl who's like the swell of endless music somewhere she is singing and her song is meant for me and her voice is sweet as angels sighing And her voice is warm as summer sky And that sound, it haunts my dreams And spins me round until it seems I fly Her voice with all due respect, sire, you've been scouring the sea for weeks. And to what end? I vow to find her, and I will. I have a better idea. On the eve of your 21st birthday, we'll host a marvelous ball. We'll invite countless eligible young ladies from far and wide. I know it. To sing for you. What? A contest. What better way to find your mysterious voice? You'll be married by sunset on that very day. Just as your father decreed. Why, yes. That's how we'll find her. Indeed we shall. You have my word. She's out there somewhere. I just know. I can sense her laughter in the ripple of the waves against the shoreline. I can see her smiling in the moonlight as it settles on the sand. Feel her waiting just beyond the pale horizon Singing out a melody to love each we stand And her voice is there as dusk is falling And her voice is there as dawn steals by It's always near, all day or night, and still I hear it calling. Strange as a dream. See if you can hear me now. Come send me free. Come send me free. Oh! 
a human? You fell in love with a human? I didn't choose it. It just happened. Oh, child. I just thought maybe you'd be happy for me. Happy for you? Happy? Because you're gone plum crazy now? Child, you got to get your heads out of the clouds and back into the water where you belong. But I don't belong here. I never did. No matter how hard I try, I don't fit in. If only I could be up there, walking the very same ground he is, breathing the very same air. Down here is your home. The human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. You're wrong, I swear. Believe me, child, it's true. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around ya, right there on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around ya, what more is you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter, take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day, out in the sun, they save away. While we devoting full time to floating under the sea. Down there all the fish is happy As all through the way they would The fish on the land ain't happy They sad cause they in the bowl The fish in the bowl is lucky They in for a worse of things One day when the boss gets hungry Guess who gon' be under plate? Under the sea Under the sea Under the sea Under the sea Nobody be as fry us and eat us in fricassee We want the land folks love to cook Under the sea We, the we got no troubles Life is the bubbles Under the sea Bubbles under the sea Oh, under the sea Under the sea, under the sea. Since life is sweeter We got the bitter naturally Under the sea Even the sturgeon and the rain hey. They get the urge to start to pray the spirit, you got to hear it under the sea. The new play, the flute, the card play, the heart, the place play, the bass, and they sound the charm. The bass play, the bass, the chum play, the top. The fluke is the duke of soul. The rain, he can play the things on the street. The trap rocking out the black fish, he sings the smell and the sprat. They know where it's at, and all the mouth is blown. Oh! Uh -huh. 
She, Sebastian. You Where is Ariel? You just miss how she slip away. <laughs> to think she turn her back on her own kind, that she turn away from her own family. Oh, it's because she loves you. I told her myself, and she makes a mockery of everything we hold dear. Where is she? If only I knew. She keeps secrets from me, Sebastian, not from you. I'll wager you know where she's hiding. Now take me to her. To think he held this in his own two hands. I'm asking this once, Ariel. Did you save a human from drowning? Which one of you told? I'm sorry, Ariel. I'm nothing but a guppy. Just a lousy guppy. That is enough! Leave us alone, you too, Sebastian. So did you? Yes, I had to. Had to? I had to save the prince. Without me, he would have perished. He's a human. You're a mermaid. Uh, I can't hate him just because he's different. Perhaps you can, but that's not me. Different. They catch us with their hooks. They spear us with their blades. They're not all like that. Don't you remember what they did to your mother? We don't know that for certain. How can there be any doubt? She slips off one morning for an innocent swim and oh. never returns. We can't prove that. I won't have you build a shrine to their rubbish, the debris that sullies our waters. Wait, Daddy. The totems of our decadence. Daddy, please. Never again, Ariel, never again. Ariel. All my things, all my human stuff. If he really and truly loved me, then he would never. Oh, child, it's because he loves you. Yeah? Well, he sure has a funny way of showing it. He can break everything I own, but he can't break me. Yeah, well, you just might break his heart. And you, some friend you turned out to be, bringing him here to my secret place, for your own good, child. I pray you wake up from this madness and soon you're swimming in some dangerous waters. If only he would walk from me, he could see, could love me as I am instead of how he wish I'd be. He doesn't really care, and he doesn't want to know. I hate him. Yes, I hate him. Oh, I hate him so. Oh, what I would give if only I
has a very serious problem, hasn't she? There was something. Who are you two? Sweet child. Poor child. So tragic. Forget her man, sweet child. Perhaps the sea witch can. You can't possibly mean Aunt Ursula. She knows your dreams. She's evil. Please, I have to go. She'll cast the charm. Why the alarm? No one will care. to her. family. Daddy says you're wicked and hateful. Mm, yes, but he says the same about humans now, doesn't he, Snookums? And we both know that's not true. Why did he banish you? The ocean wasn't big enough for the both of us, and now I see he's driven you away too. Yes, he doesn't understand me. <laughs> but I do, Dumpling. We're so very like you and I. Gals with ambition! Nothing scares a man more now, does it, darling? Now tell dear old Auntie Ursula everything. Well, I'm in love with someone, a human. <laughs> this prince fellow, he's quite a catch. Well, the answer is simple. You've got to become human yourself. Can you help me? Help you? My dear sweet child, it's what I do. It's what I live for, to help Unfortunate mere folk like yourself, poor souls that no one else can turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light to make a switch. True, yes. Now I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl into. I help them. Yes, indeed. Poor, unfortunate soul, it's sad. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells as in the please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rank and cross the coast. Though I heard the odd complaint. On the whole, I've been a saint. To those poor unfortunate souls now. Here's my best offer, baby kins. I know a spell that will turn you into human for three days, but it's got a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. <laughs> when the sun sets on the third day, 
You've got to get Aunt Princey Poo to kiss you. If you do, you'll stay human forever. And if I don't? Oh, nothing drastic, darling, I'm sure. Oh, wait, look. Small print, your soul is mine forever. And you do to spend eternity in my watery hell. So play it, liars! Don't you just love them? <laughs> but there is one more thing, my fee. Oh, but I don't have anything. I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. <laughs> my voice? <laughs> don't worry. I have a perfect place for it. Your grandpappy Poseidon gave his magic trident to your father, but this, this was his gift to moi. Your magic shell. You've heard about it. Father says it's the source of all your witchcraft. Nonsense, darling. He says you die without it. Die? <laughs> oh, please. It's a bubble, a vessel for your voice. Trust me, darling. You have a brato, your legato, even your belt will all be safe and sound in here. Hmm. But if I give away my voice, how can I ever... You'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> the men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. And yes, on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on. But not to impress with conversation. Two gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't intrude and fall on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue that gets her man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It doesn't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul, it's sad but true. If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to take a toll. Take a bill or take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Flots some jets and now I got a voice. The boss is on her own. You poor un. So, how's the bath cooking? If I become human, will I ever see my family again? My sisters? Even my father? Do you want pretty poo or not? Five, four, three, two... Yes, yes. Where do I sign? Not just any ink, darling. Use mine.
it, Ariel. Wait. There's something different about you. Don't tell me. Let me decipher it for myself. It's your hairdo. You've been using the tingle hopper. She's got legs, you idiot. She traded her voice to the sea witch to get legs. Nah, kid. Not your beautiful pipes. You see, not a sound. It hurts me to say this, but that was a lousy swap. What would her father say? I'll tell you what her father say. He said he's gonna kill himself a crab. That's what he'd say. She's got just three days. Three days to what? To make the prince fall in love with her. And to prove it, he gets to, I mean, he's got to kiss her. The prince. Well, I'll say. You want to snare in the prince? You got to learn the graceful way of perambulating. She'll do no such thing. Of course she will. Come on now. Upsy daisy. What's this? Are you giving up so soon? That's not like you, kid. You gotta have a little gumption, yeah. A can-do kind of attitude. Take it from a girl who knows. Now look at me, you see this face. In terms of beauty, I'm a basket case. And as for style and savoir faire, well, I guess there ain't a whole lot there yet. Although perhaps it makes no sense. I strut my stuff with lots of confidence. Though I lack an awful lot There is one thing I got I got positivity I got positivity It gives me the zam and the zow and the yaddle, lot lot That's why I walk with a wiggle in my waddle Cause once you've learned that word There ain't nothing you can't do And that's how positivity works for you Positivity? Why there's no such word? There is. It's in the dictionary, right? Between popsicle and pre-hysterical. Believe you me, I've seen it work miracles. See with the bib and the bap and the ba ba boo. You can flip and clap till your wish comes true. The tip is to tap into something that you believe. With the zig and the zug and the scissors, there ain't nothing you can't be. You see, it's really a prerogative. You simply can't be negative. Then there's just sitting there, smack down flat upon your cherry. Yeah, if that's the way you wanna be, well you might as well be shrubbery. So stand right up and dust your seat and walk real tall upon your own two feet. Show your trip and make mistakes, but you got what it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now.
out here. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Miss, are you all right? You, you seem very familiar. Have we met? Yes, of course, it's you. I've been looking for you everywhere. Tell me, what is your name? Excuse me? Thanks. You don't speak English. Ah, sore throat, eh? I'm sorry. You don't speak at all, do you? For a moment there, I mistook you for somebody else. What is it? Are you hurt? You, you need help. Oh, I'm a bit dizzy, aren't you? I've got just a remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on now, the pass isn't far. Bravo, Ariel! That's what I call thrilling a man! This is gonna get me in some real hot water. Can you believe that guy? What a crap. Once you've learned that word, there ain't nothing you can't do. And that's how positivity works for you. Your Majesty! Have you found her yet? We've searched everywhere. And we found no trace of her. Then keep searching until you do! Yes, sire. I never meant to wish her ill. I know. I know. Well, if she doesn't come back and I'm forced to sing her solo, uh... Don't call on us. We won't rest, Papa. Not until she's found. Thank you, dear child. Thank you. As if the loss of her mother wasn't enough. The poor child washed ashore like kelp. Perhaps it was a horrible shipwreck. We will never know the truth. She won't speak, not a single solitary word. Do what you must to make her presentable. A scrub in the tub, a proper frock. Getting your strength back, dearie? I can't help but wonder, what must she be thinking? I give a farthing or two just to hear her thoughts. Table chat, one side of it, even that. Pitful ladies, 
in two short nights, the prince will hold his contest, and young ladies will be singing themselves silly, all to win his heart. Tonight, we'll savor some quiet. Attention, attention! Le menu pour ce soir, escargot, lobster bis, tuna tata, only mackerel, maintenant! To serve little food. First I got on, say hey, the light pull out. I'm a wee, ça c'est toujours de l'île. Les poissons, les poissons. Hé hé hé, oh oh oh, with a cleaver I examine too. I pull out what's inside, then I serve little fat. God I love. Little fishes, don't you? There's something for tempting the palate. We're building the classic technique. First you whack the fish plot with a mallet. Then you slash to the skin, gives a belly a slice. Then you wrap some salt in. Cause it makes it taste nice. Cause it's gonna be ha! In 
my big up a bat To tell you my poisson Arrêtez-vous Long time, hasn't it, Prince Eric, since we dined in a company of such loveliness? Usually it's just me and Grim. He's got to look across the table at my ugly mug. The bath certainly worked at wonders. She groomed for a groom, you might say. Easy, old boy, easy. My, isn't that unusual? Don't tell me she found a tobacco. Aha, uh -huh, it's the pipe. Can't say I blame you. It's an antique museum from Dusseldorf. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, old boy, but it looks like your pipe smoked too. Very amusing, yes. She certainly knows how to make you smile. Shall we? And now, for something truly exquisite. The cream, and the cream, and the cream. Oh, you may ask, what is it? It's a tasty surprise. A delectable treat. Well, I'm sure you just love Alice! <laughs> Just look at the two of us, eh? What a couple of misfits. You're a quiet girl in a noisy world. And I'm a prince who'd rather be a simple sailor. We're both fish out of the water, you and me. What is it? Did I say something wrong? Sorry. Who needs words anyways? Uh, smile says just as much sometimes. Nimble on your feet, aren't ya? <laughs> Nancy beats small talk any day. Why, sure, it's the way your feet smile. Or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Dancing is a language that is felt instead of her. You can whisper, sing, or shout 
without so much as a word. Try. Go on. Like so. <laughs> Just let your emotions tell your body what to do. <laughs> See how much a single gesture can reveal. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer to saying what you feel. Once the music hits you, inhibitions fall away, and you find that you're expressing things your voice there and say. Don't be afraid, let go. Soon as you surrender, what's inside will sweep on through. As the boundaries between us disappear And every little step, every single step Is one step closer to talking loud and clear Our dance is like a conversation Except you never need to make a sound and once you've begun, you speak as one give and take, back and forth, round and after midnight. I should let you get some sleep. Good night. Out of the frying pan, into the fire, the things I do for you, young lady. Now I know what I should do with you. I should march you right back home to your father so you can be miserable the rest of your life. It's true. I got no back wall. All right, child. I'm in. But we got to do something and quick to get that boy to kiss you before it's too late. First, you got to bat your eyes like this. Then, you got to puck your lips like this. Oh, that's good, child. You put those two things together, you got that boy right in the palm of your hand. Now come, child, off to bed with you. That was too good. 
clothes for comfort, boys. One night, and they're already dining they're together. They're dancing cheek to cheek. I should have known. There's only one more thing stronger than my black magic. The power of true love? Teenage hormones. Oh. She didn't waste much time. The little shameless tease. One sunset's barely through, and Princey Poo is on his knees. They'll be smooching by the two boys if she keeps it up like this. So there's just one thing to do, boys. What? Go up and block that kiss. Oh. Meanwhile, I bet her dad is worried back and wondering where she's been. Soon he'll guess, yes. and then, oh, yes, the real fun can begin. Onward and upward, my live wires, and go stop that limb log. Yes, you're right, <laughs> With my tentacles around them I'll at last be back on track And headed for good times Deliciously good times Two days and the good times They're coming back <laughs> No girls ever dared to join me out here. Too afraid they'd muddy their shoes. <laughs> but not you. Ah, peaceful, isn't it? Got another living soul for miles and miles. Nothing is happening. They spent all morning on horseback, then picnic, and now this, and not even a peck on the cheek. So. How's about the weather? This is going nowhere fast. 24 hours left. He'll be married off. And poor Ariel, she'll be deep sixth. We got to do something. And quick. But what? We got to create the right kind of mood. Ooh, something romantical like candlelight and shampoo? Nonsense. It don't take all that. Everything we need, we got right here. Percussion. Strings. Wings. And moonlight. There you see her. Sitting there across the way. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. About her. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try. You wanna kiss the girl. Yes, you want her. Look at her, you know you do. Possible she want you to. There is one way to ask her. Kiss the girl. Kiss the girl. It don't take a word, not, not a single word. word. Go on and kiss the girl. Sha la 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 my oh my la la the boy. Sha la 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 kiss the girl. Sha la 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 in the sun. I really ought to know your name. Maybe I can guess. Alexandra. Annabelle. Beatrice. Ariel. My name is Ariel. Ariel. Ariel? <laughs> hey, that's kind of pretty. Okay, Ariel. Now's your moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
One will better do it soon. Your time will be better. She don't say a word and she won't say a word until you kiss the girl. Sha la 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 la, don't be scared. Sha la 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 la, kiss the girl. Sha la 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 la, don't stop now. Sunset or else. Sebastian. Most merciful Triton, I pray you keep calm. I'm asking you one last time, where is she? Where is Ariel? She'd be so angry if she knew I was here. I entrust my youngest to you and for what? I had to have you cracked. I had to have you shout! He almost was your greatness and all for Ariel. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself too. What kind of tragedy? Tragedy involving the sea witch. What did you say? These two eels came, and they took her straight to Ursula. She traded her voice for a pair of legs, and if the prince doesn't kiss her... A voice? She bartered away her voice to become human? And by sunset tomorrow, that wicked sister of yours will be having her soul. It's time I settled things with Ursula once and for all. Pardon me, young lady. Anything else we require before bedtime? Very well, then. A big day tomorrow. The prince will choose his bride. You mustn't look so blue. The secret to happiness, child. You mustn't wish for impossible things.
What is it about her that's so wonderfully, impossibly familiar? Why do I feel dizzy in a way I've only felt but once before? How can when she looks at me it seems like time stops moving? Almost like the way it did that day upon the shore. voice in the land. Tonight, one of you will join Prince Eric on the throne. May the best woman win.
voices match the music in your heart. I wish I could say yes, Grimsby, but she's not here. But her father rules all the Prussia. She's richer than Midas. She's one of the triplets, but she's willing to break up the set. No, Grim. <laughs> You're the death of me, boy. What am I to do? The sun has nearly set. Soon your birthday will be over. You must choose someone. Perhaps if we steal ourselves. Take another listen. Ariel, for heaven's sake, child, you mustn't- Shh, wait, Grimsby. Be quiet and listen. Go ahead, Ariel. Poor child, poor lost child. I had so hope, dear Eric, that you will find love somewhere in this room. Perhaps I have. I've just been too blind to see it. But that's impossible. She didn't utter a sound. No? Well, that's funny because I heard every single note. As clear as a bell. That must have meant something, old boy. Perhaps it does. Can it be another contestant? That's a, that's a voice. Oh dear, this is most unexpected. Sorry, the competition is over. Sorry, it's too late. Ah! Why look, what a gorgeous sunset! And on the third day, too! Time's up, you lose! Ariel! <laughs> Eric! I'm dragging you down, down, down into the depths where you belong. Say goodbye to your prince, your pretty dress, your satin pumps, your my now mermaid. Get ready to spend the rest of your days <laughs> with our slave. <laughs> 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 Ursula! Brother darling, here I thank you. What have you done with my daughter? Nothing. She's done it all to herself. Draining her voice away and for what? Human heartbreak. Give her back to me. Not on your life. <laughs> it so happens that your daughter signed a contract. No. Even true a little heart above the eye. Is it binding? Goodness knows. Unbreakable, unless, unless there is a little something we could try. Go on. Perhaps we can arrange a sort of trade-off. Maybe swap your daughter's soul for say your own. What? Sign the scroll and set it free. Or else she comes with me to suffer through eternity alone. The mute little hatchling drowning in her own sorrow with no voice left to cry out your name. <laughs> Well, I'm waiting. It's not my soul you're after, it's my power. Which would you rather be, the king of the sea or a father to his little girl? Ariel! <laughs> <laughs> has been once again made all of the magic of the trident and the show of my control and our dark should reign forever over ocean so now see for yourself how bad it could feel If this breaks, you die.
die. Do you really believe that? After all the lies he's told you. Lies? What lies? You told him that the world above was hideous. And what was it instead? Beautiful. Beautiful beyond compare. He'd say anything to turn you against the prince's kind. Why, he's shameless. He'd even say they killed your mother. Wait, if humans didn't kill my mother, then who did? It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> all of these years I've been cursing humans and it was you all along! Well, well I wouldn't hurt a minnow. <laughs> You're a liar, Ursula! <laughs> no! thinking of myself, not you, not this place, the only place I've ever truly called home. I'm the one that's at fault, area. cursing humans when all along. There's goodness in people, Daddy. I've seen it. Even when I couldn't. I'm so proud of you, Ariel, and I'm sure your mother would be too. Somehow, in the blink of an eye, when my back was turned, you grew up. I love him very much, don't you? It's what she wants, Your Majesty. More than anything, please. You belong to his world now. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much. Tomorrow at sunrise, we search again. But your majesty, she's lost. I won't rest until I found her, Grisby. Look, sire. Ariel? Oh, Eric! Could it be? It's been your voice all along, hasn't it? Who are you? This is my father. I'm King Triton. Astonishing, I must say. Why it defies plausibility. Her Majesty, at last, I found someone who makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. Because if I slip out to the sea sometimes, I don't think she'll mind because she'll be right there next to me, keeping us both on course. With your permission, Tyre, I'd like to make her my wife. My permission. Ariel can speak for herself. Oh, oh, yes, Eric, yes. <laughs> Can't be happening, no. Grog after bedtime, a bad idea. You're the young man's father? Heavens, no. His majesty's long dead. I'm his guardian, nothing more. Well then, I'm sure he'd be proud of the both of you. Well, thank you, sir. He's one of my best shining achievements. A bright light in a dark world. Well then, cheers to us, my dear friend. And to you, yes, to you.
love you so If only you could know Tall tales and superstitious, eh, Grim? So that's truly the king of the sea And she is his daughter Why? Does that, does that upset you? Goodness, no. I'm just relieved she's royalty. And now at last, love has surpassed each tribulation. Mermaid and man finally can joy and be one. Now they can smile, walking the aisle, here at their wedding celebration. Sailing forward, standing steady, starting our Just you and me. Wow.